Beautiful day and, and excited for this evening. I, we've got an amazing guest, so I, I've, I've been chomping at the bit all day for this one. How it's, about it's yourself? A, man, it's an exciting night. There's always, whenever we get a chance to talk to someone at this point from anywhere in Oklahoma State, yeah. um, as I told you, man, I started off, and let me be clear, I love Norman, but I have no problem actively <laughs> saying I root for anybody in Oklahoma State, right? As long as I'm the football team, we have no problem, right, Dane? <laughs> yeah, <there you laughs> we, go. There go. But there, there's been some amazing uh, – people have just been so good to us. Everybody we've interacted with from Shippy to Scotland, who will be on later, uh, to Coach G, to just on and on and on, man. This yeah. program has been good to us. So um, it's always – a. a we let them jump the line. It's always a privilege to get to showcase them. But yeah. Dan, you know me, I've got some useful facts for you first. So that I think right. you need to hear about, um, you know, before we get into that, uh, yeah. some useful facts before I go there, we got a couple guests with us tonight, Tatum and Ray, uh, Tatum and say, do you guys want to say hi? Hi. Hi. Sid, let me see. So Sid and uh, Tatum are stopping by you guys. We've got a little section to where we have some players stopping by. Yeah. Before I get into that, Dan, I've got some, some, some very important things to do with, to like the wild west if you will did you know the huh. wild west name that phrase um yeah. where do you think that came from the wild west phrase mm, it was the untamed prairie wasn't it yeah yep Maybe. so a couple oh, of, you're spot on man you know you know your history i mean how was it being alive during that time anyway you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm that's, kidding that's, i'm kidding you're, you're 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 a real comedian over there is what you are. i love it <laughs> did you know that <laughs> the, the california gold rush wasn't the first one in america i don't know where it was but California wasn't the first <laughs> for the gold rush. Um, here's an interesting fact about cow, cow, girl, cowboy life. They used to ride camels as well as horses in the wild west. Huh. I didn't know that. Oh, wow. Did you know that? No, that's and pretty interesting to find out. Crazy thing. The most important fact of all, Dane, from the cow, girl way of life is they are home to one of the best softball players in the game. Uh, yeah. The legendary Scotland is here tonight. Scotland, how you doing, my friend? I'm good. How are you guys? Excellent. Doing really well. Glad to have yeah. you on. Thank you, for, thank you for joining us. No, yes. thanks for having me. It's cool to catch up with this since the camp. Thanks for doing that with us and putting it on. And again, we just, we love the heck out of all of you guys. And yeah. you're so gracious with your time. And Dane and I can't be more thankful, Scotland. So we appreciate it so much. Of course. Um, so tonight, Scotland, we got a little bit of a, uh, we're trying uh, kind of a, a bonus section. Um, a lot of times the reason we do this show with our athletes is to really have those athletes get a chance to interact and learn more about the game from elite athletes like yourself. So we're pleased to real quickly bring on a couple of our own athletes to ask a question or two for you. So the one and only Sid, uh, stud pitcher, is going to go first. Sid, you want to say hi and ask your question to Scotland? Hi, Scotland. Thanks for coming on. Um, my question is, what's the hardest part mentally about softball? Um, I think mentally it's dealing with failures, since this is a game where failure is one of the biggest things. Like, you could have a 400 average. That means you fail six times, but that's still a positive thing. So I think just mentally dealing with the failures and how to overcome them and be a better person after that. Love it. Sid, does that kind of answer your question, Sid? Yep. Perfect. I love it. Short, short and sweet. That's a picture for you right there, huh, Dane and Scott? It's just short and oh, sweet. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Sid. <laughs> so, Scott, we've got one more bonus one for you. Tatum, if you want to say hi and ask your question, Tatum, if you don't mind. Hi. Um, what, what, do you, okay. what is your favorite part about softball? Well, What's your favorite part about softball? I think my favorite part is my teammates. So I get to be around them all day long no matter if that's breakfast, dinner, practice. So I think just the teammates I have and the atmosphere and culture we've created, that's made it my favorite part. I love it. Tatum, does that answer your question? That was a good one. Yeah. I love it. Well, thank you, our athletes, for stopping by. Thank you, girls. We appreciate it. Uh, we're going to have a little fun. Uh, we're going to uh, – Scott, we've got some questions for you over the years. The audience has cultivated. So I'm going to take this first one from Dane and I. So before, you know, playing Oklahoma State, before making World Series appearances and just being a baller that we know you as and just top deck, you know, just ambassador of the sport, before all that began, take me back to when you first picked up a ball, Scott. When did you first start playing in, in your life? How old were you, you know? Wow, I think I was like – eight so I started rec ball all that kind of thing my parents were my coaches me and my sister played on the same team and yeah it was just it's crazy thinking about it now because I'm still in touch with a lot of girls I played with and a lot of like my coaches 
and yeah so I was really young so I've been playing it for 13 years now and wow. just enjoyed every second of it we we, mm. we talk about softball and Dan and I say this quite a bit Scott when it's really funny when you think about 13 years of actually playing softball the way that's set up that's almost like 85 dog years right you've had a few seasons yeah. under your belt you know that's crazy so that's a that's quite a bit of tenure quite a bit of history on and off the field i'm curious because i know some people don't remember this do you remember the first team that you played on like the name of it some people remember some people don't <laughs> i know we were yellow i want to say like the tornadoes <laughs> or something like that fitting <laughs> love it. a bunch of little kids tornadoes that's fitting i love it so did you guys win a championship that first year or no <laughs> i don't think so I love it. In your, in your mind, you, know, you guys got the juice packs, right? And the, and the orange pills, right? Exactly. <laughs> there, you, there you go. I so, love it. Go ahead, Dan. I was say, what a, was that your only sport, or did you kind of delve into other sports at, at that young age to try to kind of find your footing as to what you wanted to do? So when I was super young, it was – I did swim, soccer, and softball, mm -hmm. and I loved swim. I was actually really <laughs> good at swimming. And then I think when I was like – eight they put me on the 12 u boys team and then we were practicing from like oh. six to ten every single night and I was like mom I cannot do this like this is <laughs> way too much so then that's when I kind of just dove straight into softball what, what was it about softball that kind of uh made you go ahead and say okay I like this sport I'm gonna go ahead and go with it now what, what was it about the sport that kind of endeared you to it I think it was fun just because my parents were involved. So it was like a whole family outing, like practice and games. Like my mom and my dad were the coaches. And then my mom played softball in college. Really? So then, Where'd you play at? Um, SIU Edwardsville. She played softball and basketball. And then my okay. dad played basketball. Wow. So it was either they really wanted me to play softball or really wanted me to play basketball. And I right. picked softball. I got you. So as Dane would say, Dane, they were locked in. Dane, you talk a lot about multi-sport athletes. I know you're a big yeah. fan of that too, right, Dane? Yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, did you find that the other sports that you played kind of helped you along with some of the mental aspects of softball and or even the physical aspects of softball? Yeah, so maybe not when I was as young as I was, but in high school, I played soccer for, mm -hmm. I think it was my – sophomore junior year junior year and senior year something like that and that really helped me keep in shape because we were just running like crazy yeah. <laughs> all day i love it i love it so i'm thinking and, and, and i was gonna say with being an outfielder did it kind of help you you know understand how to close down space a little faster being out there oh, on the yeah. pit one thousand percent but being in the outfield is a little less intimidating because you're chasing a ball instead of an actual person so <laughs> I love that. So I, I see the influence and in, uh, as uh, Scott, it, it's very clear to see like the influence you have on this upcoming generation, right? Um, you're still actively in it, just coming off a world series appearance um, at the top of the sport and then still got mountains to climb. If you will, the influence you have on players across the world is so huge. I'm curious to see what's been a couple of your influences, whether it's a, you know, an athlete or a parent, uh, maybe a coach back in the day, who's been the biggest influence on you and your career so far. Definitely my parents, just because yeah. they're my best friends. I go to practice every day, play games every day, like wanting to make them proud and just showing them like, hey, you got me here. I'm doing this for you. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. what, a, what a testimony. We're actually, Dane, you remember that time? So uh, with, with the, your side being on the athletic side, we're interviewing a guy from a band. He's like, man, it's cool that I play in front of, you know, crowds and things like what you do too. He said his biggest fan was when he played in front of his dad. So it's kind of cool yeah. to hear that story from you as well, where it's like you, you have all these fans and you sell out, you know, Oklahoma city, whenever you guys go and people come to see you, but still mom and dad, like that's who, you know, that's cool. Yeah. And that gives yeah. our kids hope too, that, Hey, don't forget mom and dad are the ones that got you here. So keep on making them yeah. proud. I love that. I love yeah, that. Definitely. definitely. Then go ahead, man. So now that, you know, that the season's under your belt and your guys are starting back into the classroom and, you know, you guys are going to start getting rolling again. I, I know that in the past you've had some injuries that you've persevered through. What do you see coming up for you? What are some, maybe some personal goals that you have coming into this next season? I think my main goal is to stay healthy. I mm -hmm. haven't had I haven't had a full season of college where mm -hmm. I've been healthy the whole time, which has been it's crazy to think about. 
but that's definitely my main goal just staying healthy I gotta like keep my knee strong my legs strong and just rehab every day got you because I because I know uh coach G was was really high on you whenever you you know he told us about the program that he put you guys through and he was you were one of the names that came up during that uh, of him being so impressed with how hard you worked through that so I mean, it just shows a, a testament to your hard work that you put in and to get back on the field. And like I say, we we hope nothing but great health for you because we want to see you out there for the whole season. Yeah, Thank for you. sure. What, what's that program called? The the Verge or something where you guys go through that like SEAL camp? Scott, what's that called? He told us about it a little bit. You guys go through like it's, a boot camp? Yeah, it's just called the program. Ah, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, when I saw there was more than one push up, I was like, nah, I'm out. <laughs> It kidding. was it was really difficult, but I loved it. That's cool. Yeah, top deck athletes. No wonder you guys have no problem staying, you know, not winded on the field and things like that. Uh, again, you were spoke as always. Anyone who ever mentioned your name, it's speak it's spoken very highly of. So no wonder everyone just loves you so much. There's a little segment that we do, Scott. When I promise you're going to laugh and interviews and press things that you've done. Hope if you've watched a few of these. You kind of have a little bit of a feel for it, but we don't prep you for this. There's a segment that Dane and I always bet on every episode called Rapid Fire. Okay, so uh, Dane, do you got your you got your picks? You ready, Dane? On these? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. I'm and ready. So, so, so imagine this. Okay, so here's the thing, Colin. Uh, imagine uh, time is not a thing, past or present. For the next five minutes, anything is possible. Reality can bend to your will. Okay, so um, you have to answer one of these with you have to pick one. Okay. Okay. Okay, so first question, uh, we know it's going to happen. You guys are going to be back at the World Series next year. It's it's just pretty much, it's a fact. You will be there. What they don't tell you is part of this year's, I don't know if they want to call it initiation or just maybe a practical joke, you have to play the entire game, the entire first series. You don't get to use uh, gloves at all. There's no gloves. Your two choices to play is either A, old school oven mitts that's one choice gotta roll with those during the game national tv or b you can get your entire both hands duct taped up like silver duct tape to go with and even when you're batting so we're going with oven mitts or duct tape which one are you going with oven mitts dang it i had the duct tape dan what'd you have dan on that oh, I had, I had the oven mitts that's just there's a little cushion to the oven mitts you can still no man that. i'm not i'm not catching the ball in the outfield with that i want the tape man let's go hey, <laughs> so. you have to consider who you're talking to and the toughness of the of the player we're talking to so that's true you probably for scotland you probably catch balls all the time without a glove scotland so you're right <laughs> no wonder so good so dane you're one ahead of me man I'll, I, will, I will catch up by the way scotland the winner gets lunch provided by the loser so i need you to help me out okay <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, so next question. A um, little bit of a different change of pace. Uh, season's over. You're called to come. You know, a lot of softball players and athletes get to help commentate. You know, other SEC tournaments, Big 12, things like that. Well, they ask you to come commentate for whatever reason. Food Network is putting on a special, and they want you to commentate a live shrimp whale cook-off on Food Network. Okay? Step one. But your two co-hosts that you get to pick from, first one is either A... Jim Gaffigan. If you see him, you know who it is. The blonde haired guy he's talking kind of like this, and he's always like, always talking like that about food. Or the second guy is you can have Tim Allen be your co-host. So it's either Jim Gaffigan or Tim Allen as your co-host to commentate this live shrimp boil. Which one are you going with? Tim Allen. Dang it! I am striking out, <laughs> man. Oh, yeah. I had Gaffigan, man, because he's—they're both funny, but he's just hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Any? Okay, got you. All right, let me see if I can redeem myself here. Next one, Scotland. So. Um, you're called, um, you know, athletes are very, very athletic and they're good at doing multiple parts. You're called to be a part of a musical. Um, two legendary franchises call you up and they want you to be a part of their musical. Now, we're going to go back in time. So the first choice, Olivia and John Travolta call you up and say, hey, come join us and be a part of the opening night of Greece. Cool. That's one. Or you can be a part of Dirty Dancing's film set with Patrick Swayze and the whole thing. And so Grease or Dirty Dancing. But what they don't tell you is for the entire production, you got to be in full on softball gear with cleats and all. So <laughs> Grease or Dirty Dancing in your, your gear, which one are you going to be a part of? Grease, 1000%. Oh, yeah. Got, Scotland, yeah, I, don't, I don't even know you, Scotland, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I got that one wrong too. I really had Dirty Dancing. I'm like, time of my life. Wait, that's right. Movie Dane, is that from, is that time of my life? Dirty Dancing? <laughs> okay. Well, 
I can't, I can't even uh, I can't even come back from this, but I'm gonna try. Hey, so two more. Gre Greece is iconic, so everybody's gonna go with Greece. <laughs> Nobody puts Baby in a Corner. Is that the same movie, or am I thinking of a different one? <laughs> <laughs> Man. Okay, Scott. The next one. So imagine you get for part of your NIL among many sponsorships and things like that, right? And you know it's a big part of sports these days. These two legendary companies call you up and say, "Hey." We want to sponsor you as long as you wear one of our costumes during your next game. Okay, so full on sponsorship, the whole deal. Your two choices, Scotland, you can go either with A, Hot Pockets or B, a Fanta soda. But you got to wear either the Hot Pocket suit or a Fanta like soda pop suit onto the field. Are we going with Hot Pockets or Fanta? Which one? Fanta. Oh man, oh, I am Lanta. on fire. <laughs> oh my Lanta. I'm I have got fire. 0 for 4 tonight. I can't believe this. Okay. <laughs> so last one. Let me see if Sydney I can at least get like, one of these. Didn't look like she had that one too. Oh man. Tatum, did you have Fanta? Which one do you have, Tatum? She did. Okay. <laughs> so last one. Um, you're called up to do a the first ever um on I don't know, ESPN. They're gonna do another event along with women's college world series. You get to be a part of the debut of the women's softball home run derby on ESPN. Okay, you get to be a part of that. You're one of the starting nine or whatnot. But they get to the to the event and tell you you can do the home run derby, but guess what? You don't have a bat. There's no bats in the entire facility. You have two choices to go up to this home run derby with on TV. You can go with either A old school drumsticks, like what you play drums with, or B, a pull cue while you're doing the home run derby. Drumstick, pull cue, which one are you going with? Pull cue. Um, I'm gonna end the interview now, Scott, on, because I okay. literally went yeah. 0 for 5. I can't believe this. Dude, okay, hey, did it, you have that one? You did? Oh yeah, it's 5 I for 5. Right. You did, Tatum, you had that one? Yeah. That's crazy. Well, okay. Well, Dane, you got me on that one. So uh, I will send you your uh, Marichan ramen noodles, the pork flavored ones on its way. All right. So no, no, thank you for that. Scotland, I hope in the interviews you've had, you haven't had something like that. So we appreciate you being a good sport. I appreciate it. I'll give it back to, to Dane for the last segment. Okay. Thank you so much. On this segment, Scotland, we uh, call it an open mic. We open the floor up to our guests to maybe talk to some of the younger players and viewers and listeners, much similar to ones we have on tonight to maybe tell them maybe like a, a mantra or a philosophy that you carried with you through your career to help you obviously get to where you're at now and obviously persevere through the, you know, the injuries and things that you've had in your life. Is there something you can tell some of those younger players, you know, maybe when they're having a hard time or trying to get to that next level, something that maybe you've carried through your career to help them along as well? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for me has been relationships, whether that's the relationship with my trainer or my teammates or my coaches. So I kind of just tell myself, like, if I catch myself becoming too judgmental or not being very nice to everybody, I just think, like, you never know what someone else is going through. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of just treat everybody like they're equal, no matter whatever they have going on at home or anything like that. And I feel like that just helps me approach everybody with like a level of respect. Mm -hmm. And because in reality, you're not going to get something out of someone that you don't put in. So if mm -hmm. I'm not putting in respect and time with my trainer, I'm not going to get anything in return. Yeah. I, I'm, I always make notes, Scott, when I'm, I'm writing this down because respect, everyone's equal. And the reason we started this show, and I'm telling you, me and Dane preach this constantly we love that equality of female athletics and male athletics, right? I believe what I've totally believe is whether you're saying, you know, uh, St. Louis Cardinals, or Oklahoma State softball, you should be the same level. Of, it's, it's the same in us. And I, I love that respect of what yeah. you're talking about where, hey, the only things that we're here to look at as far as attitude and effort, nothing else matters. Everyone's welcome. Everyone's loved. Everyone's a part of this. Respect, attitude, effort. You mentioned kind of not judging someone too. That's really good because – Sometimes I'll be honest with you, Scotland, you'll see a player. It's like, man, how they strike out so bad. Maybe they're going through something at home that they don't know yeah. about on the field, yeah. things like that, right? Is that what you'd say? Yes, definitely. That's powerful, man. And that's, that's Dane, yeah. I mean, yeah. we talked about that too, Dane. That's a mental part of even with our goals, wouldn't you say, Dane? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you, you never know. You got to treat everybody with – and you got to bring them up, you know, like we always talk about, Scotland, with, with this – uh, softball universe, we'll call it. Everybody seems really close knit and it's like a family. So, you know, you go team to team and either even 
teams that are rivals, they, they seem to like to pick each other up and, and wish for the best for the others, even though you're, you know, fighting tooth and nail in a, in a given game, you still want what's best for them. You still want to pick them up and, you know, it helps elevate everybody and it helps ultimately elevate the sport as well. So that's mm-hmm. a great message to send to that younger group. Um, well, Scotland, it's clear to see the sport is in good hands. Zane and I talk about this constantly. People like yourself, ambassador of the sport. No wonder yeah. everyone loves you so much and respects you. Um, again, yeah. high caliber athlete. Um, our girls learn so much, and we're grateful to have got to spend time with you. We'll be back next year yeah. as well. Um, last question for a kind of bonus question. I'm hoping I, I know the answer to this. I hope you're planning on declaring, right? We're going to go pro, right? Is that in the, is in the future for you? Can try to? I don't know. I really haven't thought about it. I've just yeah. – I've really been focusing on life after college because that's what injuries will do. You never know if you're going to come back or not. And I had a couple tough conversations with Coach G, and he's like, so are we going to do it again or are we going to hang it up? And obviously I keep saying, like, we're going to try again. But it's really put into perspective life after softball. So I've kind of been focusing on that a little bit, making, like, LinkedIn accounts, that kind of stuff. So. (laughs) I got you. Well, Dana, I know that you have a coaching career in your future. What about that? And yeah. Maybe we go a different direction and we're going to be doing some coaching, I hope, at some point. Maybe. Maybe if I have a daughter, but I haven't really thought about <laughs> that either. I honestly We're, wouldn't mind coaching. That would be a good. good good lifestyle. I love it. Well, I know that uh, definitely uh, Dane and I would say whatever you decide, you're cut out for it. Uh, we support oh, yeah. you all. We're just, we're just glad to get to catch up with you. Let it be known yeah. that you're part of this and come back anytime. Dane, do you have anything you want to add to that? Cause that was, that was no, I just thank you for your time coming on tonight and, and letting our girls ask you some questions. Cause these no. are the uh, target demo that we're going for is that that next level. And, and, and the things you say will definitely resonate with them. And uh, we'll talk about them as we go forward and, you know, we look forward to watching you through the fall and, and also through next season. So best of luck to you. And we hope, you know, nothing more than you stay healthy the whole season. So yeah, we, we look forward to watching you. Yes. yes. What, Thank you that? guys for having me. Yes. We're, we're glad to catch up. Thanks again for all you did at the camp and for just being so gracious to us. Um, I will say Scotland, I'm rooting for you guys all year long until yeah. we play you. And then I still will root for you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But uh, as, like I said, as long as it's not football, I pretty much – I have noticed myself – I've got a bunch of OSU gear. Like, I've got some basketball stuff and baseball. And, and Coach, he's like, what about that football? I was like, tell Gundy I love him, but I'm not putting that on. <laughs> so, that's where I, I draw the line. I have a question. Uh, well, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, if you didn't do softball, what, what would you want to do, like, as a job? Hmm. As a job? <laughs> I like but, that. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to do medical sales, like a medical sales rep, something mm-hmm. like that in that whole field. I got you. Tatum, yeah, that was a good bonus. Not too exciting, but. No, it's cool. Hey, you know, and uh, Scotland, one thing we talk about all the time with the show is whether it is sports, athletics, whether it's musicians or doctors, lawyers, things like that. The point of the show is it doesn't have to just be athletics or, or yeah. music. What do you want to do to chase your dreams, right? And sometimes athletes will go a different direction. There's even yeah. retired players that down the road, they, okay, you play till maybe if you're lucky, late 30s, really, then you got a whole life ahead of you. So it is yeah. smart, like what you're saying, to have something to fall back on after sports, you know? So I think that's smart of you. So kudos. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Scotland, um, thank you again but on behalf of Dane and I and the show and the audience and all of uh, Cowgirl Nation out there. We love you guys. Appreciate you stopping by. Open invitation. Come back anytime. Uh, make yeah. sure we stay in touch, and we'll be cheering for you all season long, okay? So, Alrighty. Thank you, awesome guys. Friend. Take care. Thank we- you. Much love. We'll be in touch, okay? You take care. Alrighty. Bye. 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 So, Dane. Bye. So, Dane. <laughs> so, Dane, talk to me, man. What do you think about Scotland? Wasn't she awesome? Yeah. I mean, it's just uh... – a continuation of what we've seen at the camp there, you know, she's really engaging. She, she'll ask, ask a question. You'll get a great answer and it's in depth. And, you know, there's, there's so much complexity to her. I mean, if anybody would look up her story, you're, you'll be inspired by, you know, mm-hmm. her being on the field and, and to boot how great of a player she is. So mm-hmm. it, it's great to catch up with her and, you know, kind of pick the brain of, of an individual like that, you know, not only That's a great, ball player but a great and even better person so uh, that's what i enjoy about these these interviews that was awesome say did you learn anything tonight you speak yep (laughs) and i heard some and i heard some great quotes 
Yeah. Yeah. Take, take, take back with you. Take yeah. yeah. With you. Good. Tatum, what about you, Tatum? You learn anything? Yeah. Um, Good. That, yeah. Mistakes are okay. <laughs> Yeah, mistakes are part of the game, right, Dane? Mistakes are actually part yeah, of the game. Definitely. No, we're we're gonna have to really step up our game if these two might take over for us here. I, I know. know the next know generation, man. Crazy. <laughs> well, girls, thank you, uh, Sid and Tatum. We love you. You know that. Um, Scotland, yeah. thank you. Oklahoma State, thank you. Um, Softball Nation, we're grateful that we get to bring this content to you on a regular basis. Yeah. Um, it's exciting, uh, Dane. So let me wrap up the 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 announcement. So we had Rob stop by today. A little bonus edition. I know you had to call yeah. an event. Um, which tonight we finished up with Scotland. Um, we've, gosh, we've had so many amazing athletes from that program at this point, five or six at this yeah. point, I think, you know, so, uh, we've just been generous and gracious to us. Um, we have one more tomorrow night, Dane, stopping by for the night cap on Thursday. We've got mm -hmm. the legendary Dorothy Taylor stopping by, Dane. Yes. Awesome. Can't wait. Um, you talk about driven motivation um this the, the methods that she preaches f effort and attitude don't judge a book by its cover you guys are in for a real treat if you haven't looked her up look up the godmother of drums or godmother of rock you know what i mean so have you looked that one up then isn't it crazy yeah oh it, it's it's unbelievable i i can't wait to hear her story and and kind of talk to her and see what kind of motivates her that's going to be yeah. a great thing i can't wait it it had a few vi video hits. It was only about 18 million. You know, yeah, a few. yeah. So yeah. nothing, cool. nothing crazy. Um, <laughs> and then we go into next week, you guys, we've got a lot of softball yet to come. Obviously we don't ever yeah. stop with softball. Um, we're tracking down. I don't want to give away the, 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 the details. We're tracking down some football players. We've got some more basketball and plenty more softball and lots, lots, lots more musicians. Dane, I was waiting to announce this until I got confirmation. Uh, we yeah. did get confirmation that we've got one of the OG members of Shinedown. Stopping by World. soon. Cool. It's going to be pretty legitimate. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. So it's going to be a nice uh, month of music ahead, plus many others, which we'll get into when the time is right. But on behalf of the Dane and Josh show, always, always, always don't forget that we love you. And Dane? Thank you for listening.